Well, how do there, chums? That was a physical mic check. I guess as I'm jumping into game, into No Man's Sky, and this is the Echoes update. Now, I'm just going to show you the things that you can actually get inside the Nexus. This is going to be an extremely quick video, but just to let you know the new things that you can find here in the Spatial Anomaly. So if I fly on up through here, and I head on over to the back area where the vendors are, people. Let's keep going this way. Lovely jubbly. And we've got the vendors here. So the people that you need to go see is this terminal here to the construction station. And you're going to pop through. And this is one tab, two tabs. And it's on the third tab where it says construction modules or technology modules, I should say. And it's right here. The Wonders Projector. So we can purchase. Okay, that one. Boom. Got that. A buildable holographic display designed to visualize any discovery currently listed in your personal records. Use a projector to manage these records directly or view them from wonder sections of the catalog. Pretty cool. I'm fairly sure people are going to be putting those all over their bases and displaying a gnarly array of cool animals inside of their bases. Right, well, let's talk to Celine, because Celine has got something new as well, haven't you, Celine? Yes, she has. Research, exosuit upgrades, and it's this little kitty. I need to get myself a magnetic resonator and a quantum computer, but I can purchase that. That's going to allow me to upgrade my personal refiner to Mark II, which lets you put two things in at the same time, people. So we'll grab that. That. Lovely and awesome. And I don't think any of the other vendors over here have anything to offer. So that's the only two places you really need to go, people. Lovely. And we're going to head on up here. And we're going to head on over towards the construct over this way. As there is something new behind Tethys. We've got ourselves a new multi-tool dismantling thing where you get given multi-tool bits if you want to actually scrap your multi-tool. However, none of my multi-tools are in the point of being that I want to scrap any of them right now, people. However, we've now been given new multi-tools, and the one that I don't like the most is probably this one. I don't like my exotic multi-tool, so I'm going to decommission and scrap that one. Here we go. Yes, claim the scrap. Chicka boom. Yeah, I'm fine with that. It can freaking go, mate. Lovely jubbly. And another multi-tool that I'm not overly keen on is my new Sentinelized multi-tool. There's probably people out there that are going to say, Captain Steve, you keep your Sentinel multi-tool. I don't overly like it. I don't. It's it's just not for me. And they've added in these new Wanderer staffs, and I don't know whether they take up a multi-tool slot. And they've also added in Atlantid multi-tools. Atlantid multi-tools. Yeah, I know, right? Anyway, I've done a whole video on the Atlantid multi-tours and um, the, well, the whole patch notes. I've done a whole video on the patch notes. It's half an hour long. It's taken ages, ages to frickin' um, uh, render. But that'll be out soon, people. If you haven't already subscribed and hit that notification bell, please do, because as soon as that happens, heck yes, you're going to be glad you saw it. Okay, right, so let's head on over here. So I've got given all this scrap type stuffage now, lovely jubbly, but none of it is for the new sort of um, magical wands. Let's hit this up then. So let's install that personal refiner. Okay, I haven't got all the bits I need. Of course I don't. Right oh. Well, what you can do if you haven't got all the bits, is you can go into difficulty and you can just toggle it if you haven't locked it, that is, to creative mode and say yes. And then you can go back in and you can install locate that right away. Boom. Hold on. You need to have the uninstall the personal refiner first. Okay. All right, fine. All right. I have to unpackage it, I guess. I can't just delete it. Well, that's that's fun, isn't it? All right, now let's do it then. Chicka pow. Chicka boom, chicka pow, chicka dim. Done, dilly, and done. Well, there you go, people. That wasn't freaking obvious, was it? But now when I go on over to it, hopefully you can fuel it and you can put two things in and get something out. Pretty darn nice. Well, I'll have that out of there. Thank you very much. Lovely. All right. Um, well, I wonder if I can just split. Oh, that's I wonder if that's sneaky. I wonder if you can split the stacks. If I take that out for a second and then if I go and put something in like a stack of this, let's halve that, put that in there. Let's go and get the other half. Let's get that and put that there. No, I was hoping I could do it in half the bloody time. It's not going to happen. All right. Fine. All right. Uh, just, just like just like the other refiner, I suppose, then, people, isn't it? All right, fine. Lovely jubbly. It was worth a try, worth a try. Now, it does say to start the actual new law progression, speaking to Nada is the way that you go about doing it. 
I don't know whether it's been made active yet. Let's see if it has or hasn't. Hello there, Nada, my friend. Traveller friend! Yes, that's me. You remembered us. Heck yes, I did. Nada is grateful. For as long as Nada, Nada will be grateful. OK, great. We remember you also. Brilliant. Well, that was a quite a cryptic conversation. We're going to have the same conversation. Yes, we're going to have the same conversation. So at the moment, I don't know how to go about triggering the actual lore and story progression for these autophages. I'm going inside my log. I'm not seeing anything new here, people. Heck no, I'm not. So I don't really know what's going on when it comes to that. If you guys out there in the viewerverse know how to get the actual missions to trigger, let us know. Heck yes. And I'll do videos and let everybody know. Heck yes. I do know how to actually get yourself an interaction with one of those lovely pirate freighters, though, people. So, but I think I'm going to make another video for that one. So, yeah, stay tuned. I'll be bringing out another video on how you guys in the viewer bus can trigger a pirate dreadnought interaction and how to best take out said pirate freighter. Heck yes. Until then, people. You guys have been freaking awesome. Heck yes, you have. Goodbye, goodbye. Think goodbye again. Oh, yeah. And you might want to jump in your ship and out of your ship. Now you've got all that new technologies. And if you did do what I did and you change your difficulty mode, you might want to put that back to the other difficulty. Hit that. Boom. Done. Dilly and done. And now I'm going to jump in my ship and out of my ship. Create a save so it keeps it in normal mode. But I've already bagged that, that new technology. Lovely jubbly. Saves me going around trying to find magnetic resonators, doesn't it? Anyway, cheery bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.